Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio. Today we're going to be covering a topic that comes up often and that's how to wire in volume controls with your sound system. So here in front of us we have one of our uh, most popular and common volume controls. It's a VC100W, which means it has 100 watts of, of capability on it. Um, it's very simple, very slick, sleek looking, um, but that's not really the point of this video. Today we're going to be talking about how to wire it. And so we're going to try to go through some scenarios that you might face whenever you're trying to install your system. A um, couple things, it's very simple. Um, Connection wise, um, on the back side, the internal side, this is what it looks like if you're ever curious about what volume controls look like on the inside. There's a little green Phoenix connector here that's where you connect your, your speaker wire. It's a four terminal Phoenix connector um, or Euro block, however you're familiar with that term. Um, this is going to be really important as we go through these examples to remember that there's four terminals and that they um, are both used for different things. So the first two terminals on the volume control represent what's called the amplifier in. Um, this is where you're gonna come off of your amplifier and into the first two, it's positive, negative, that's your amplifier in. The second two terminals are your speaker out and that's pretty self-explanatory. That's where you're gonna wire your speakers off of. So whatever speakers you want this volume control um, to handle, you're gonna wire the speakers off of the speaker out. So that's the second two positive negative terminals. So um, I'm going to go through a couple of um, examples that we see often, scenarios where you might just need one volume control or multiple volume controls to create your zones um, where you have independent control of the volume for those areas. So these are going to be super simple. I'm not an artist, so I apologize in advance, but we are going to link up some actual diagrams that show this um, in a better light. And so we're not going to go over every example, but we're going to go over a few. So the first example is you have your amplifier and I have one volume control that I need to c cover and control um, all of my speakers on the system. So you're going to come off of your amp on the speaker out of your amp or your output of the amp um, where you would normally just go straight into wiring your speakers and you're going to go into the amp inside of your volume control. So that's the first two terminals. So you're going into your volume control. Using the other two terminals, the speaker out terminals, is where you're going to wire your speakers. So it's just an extra step in the wiring process. If you didn't have a volume control at all, you would go out of the output of your amp, wire your speakers, bounce from the first speaker to the second speaker, second speaker to the third speaker, and so on, and you'd be good to go. You would only control your volume from the amplifier. If you want a volume control, it's just an extra step. So you're going from the amplifier output to the volume control amp inside, and then from the speaker outside is where you will wire your speakers, daisy chaining those together. So that's scenario one. Again, sorry for the terrible drawings. Scenario two is maybe I have two volume controls. I have this area of my restaurant that needs volume control and another area that needs volume control. So again, we're gonna start with our amplifier. And I need to go over here with the volume control and over here with the volume control. You can come off of the same output of your amplifier, go to the first volume control, come out of that same output of your amplifier to a second volume control, and then do the same thing. Go to your speakers using the speaker out of your volume control and daisy chain the speakers that you're gonna be controlling for that. There's another way to do this. This gets a little bit more complicated, but it's definitely doable. Same amplifier coming out of the output to your first volume control, and you can actually daisy chain your two volume controls together. And this is an important step. When you daisy chain your volume controls, you're gonna be coming out of the amp inside. So those first two terminals, you're gonna go out of the first one into the second volume control, the same terminal. So you're gonna double up on that first one, go to the amp inside. That leaves your speaker output terminals completely free. That's where you wire up your speakers. So that's common 
um, examples of when volume controls are used. This is not an exhaustive list. But there's a lot of ways to wire this correctly. Um, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, if we didn't cover your scenario, um, please reach out um, and let us help you because it's pretty simple, um, but it's easy to cross wires, um, use the wrong output, the wrong input on your speakers, whatever the case may be. So definitely reach out if you have any questions at all and we'll be more than happy to assist you. We can send you diagrams, we can get on the phone with you and see what you got going on see what we can do to help. So if you have any questions, let us know. Until next time, we'll see you guys.